Hola, me brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we are going to talk about the Divine Mercy and Chaplet. So our story begins with St. Faustina in the mid-1930s. She saw a mystic vision of Jesus. So she had visions of an angel of God punishing a certain people or city um, for the sins that they have committed. So she began praying and asking for mercy and nothing seemed to be working. She was then overwhelmed by the presence of the Holy Trinity and brought to the throne of God. There she began to pray, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. An atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Then, suddenly, the angel became powerless. He couldn't do anything. He wasn't, he, he couldn't finish out his chastisement among the people. Because of this prayer, mercy was given to those people. The next day, when she went to her usual chapel to pray, Jesus appeared to her and instructed her how to pray the chaplet. So beginning the chaplet, you use a rosary. So there's 10 steps to praying the divine mercy. Number one, you begin with the sign of the cross. Number two, the opening prayer. Number three, four, and five. So three, four, and five are three simple prayers prayed on these beads. The Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Apostles' Creed. Since you're using the rosary on the Our Father beads, you um, pray this prayer. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Number seven, on the Hail Mary beads, each one individually, all five decades, <clears throat> you pray for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Step number eight is a repetition of step six and seven. So when you reach the end of your first decade, you repeat the Eternal Father again alongside with the ten for, our, for his sakes. And then repeat until you come back all the way to the end of the crown. So at step number nine, when you're done with the five decades, uh, you can either just pray reverently, or I like to pray with open arms. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And you pray that three times. Step number 10 is the closing prayer. Our Lord revealed to St. Faustina that this chaplet of mercy is for the entire world. There are great promises of grace to those who pray it for love of God. The chaplet comes from the mystical experiences of St. Faustina. Jesus told her that those who recite the chaplet again out of love for God would receive tremendous graces. Uh, this prayer has been given to us directly from God. So as you can imagine, it's a pretty important prayer if God gives it to us as a gift, right? So here are four promises that the divine mercy encompasses. Promise of defense. For us and others, at our death, Jesus will defend those who pray. Number two, promises of mercy. Jesus will stand before his Father as the merciful Savior to defend us. Number three, promise of hope. Recommend this prayer to sinners as their last hope of salvation. Number four, the Lord promises to grant our prayers and pour out unimaginable graces upon us. I would suggest praying for anything that could help you grow in faith. Wow. What a great prayer. Honestly, with those four promises, what could go wrong? 
And why wouldn't you add this prayer to your daily prayers or maybe a weekly prayer? Um, it does only take about seven to eight minutes and time really shouldn't be the thing that's like, oh, should I pray it or not? Ultimately, we want to pray because we have a love for God and that is why we want to pray and because we want to grow in virtue. And because ultimately we're aiming for heaven and we need every help that we can get. Yes, Christ died on a cross to set us free. But we must choose to be set free because it's a two-way system. That is forgiveness, but we must ask for it. And the divine mercy is a great way to pray and to receive God's mercy. The chaplet is highly recommended to be prayed daily and especially for the dying. It could be said at any time, but our Lord asked it to be recited as a novena, especially nine days before the Feast of Mercy. And one last thing before we go. Here's what our Lord said to St. Faustina. Encourage souls to say the chaplet which I have given you. Whoever will recite it will receive many graces at the hour of death. When they say this chaplet in the presence of the dying, I will stand between my father and the dying person, not as the just judge, but as the merciful savior. Priests will recommend it to sinners as their last hope of salvation. Even if there were a sinner most hardened, even if he were to recite this chaplet only once, he would receive a grace from my infinite mercy. I desire to grant unimaginable graces to those souls who trust in mercy. Through the chaplet, you will obtain everything if what you ask for is capable with my will. Wow. Those basically, that's where exactly where the four promises come from. They come from straight up Jesus, our Lord and Savior himself. With that, I thank you for tuning in. And I hope that you may pray the divine mercy more often. And if you struggle with adding things to your prayer routine, may I suggest praying it maybe every Sunday. God bless you, brothers and sisters, and have a wonderful, fantastic day, evening, or morning. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.